First day of Vlogmas and my hair is like, what's going on here? It's also the first day of unemployment for me and I'm nervous, I'm scared, but I feel like I have a lot of work to do to transition into this new space, um, professional space. Because of that, I'm very excited. But I also want to try out this Vlogmas um, thing because I haven't done Vlogmas in like years. I feel like Vlogmas in the past has helped me gain a better perspective because you know you do vlogmas you vlog every day until christmas and you get to look back at the things you've done daily for me it's helped kind of like centralize my focus in a way to keep going on creatively does that make any sense no it doesn't let's do this let's go day one of vlogmas i really want to clean my apartment because prior to fun employment, my previous job was like the time constraints were very strict. Like I, I would start work at like 8.30, 8.45 um, and then end the day at around like 10.30, 11 o'clock. So because of that, I don't really have time to, to clean my apartment, to do anything, take care of my health. So I'm taking today off as like doing things that I need to do that I couldn't do in the, in the past couple of months. So yeah, Udikata, let's go. see what I'm doing right now but I'm putting on socks. I just want to kind of talk real quick with you guys. I never really know exactly how I want my vlogs to be structured because like sometimes I like making vlogs where I just don't talk but at the same time when I do that I feel rude because you know I feel like I'm just ignoring people on camera and it's like not what I intend to do but I feel like it does come off that way. Then there are days when I do vlogs where I do talk but also I don't really know what I want to talk about. I feel like when I do talk it's like nonsense and I don't make any sense. It's not interesting. I feel like I'm not an interesting person. <sighs> it is what? What time is it now? It's 11.15 and I have not eaten anything yet. 
I think I'm gonna go get dim sum, which is rare because I normally don't go for dim sum. It's like the last thing I want to eat. But I think as I get older, I become more like my dad. My dad loves dim sum. Whenever we go out anywhere, it's always like, dad, what do you want to eat? He's always like dim sum. Like he wants a yum cha, you know? I don't like yum cha because it's just like too many people in the same place, especially with COVID still happening. It's like, I don't want to be there. But there's a restaurant near me that actually sells um, dim sum. And you can actually take it a go. When I say dim sum, it's really just the chong fun, which is um, steamed rolled rice. It's not like rice, but it's like it's rice powder, and they turn it into like this thin sheet of translucent thing, and then they roll it up. But usually they roll something in it. So I love the cha siu chong, which is the roast pork, and I like the cilantro one. But they always run out of cilantro over there, and I don't know why. Like, are there just that many vegetarians in this area? So I'm gonna go get dim sum and i'm also gonna go get uh some pastries and, and like stuff from the bakery because sometimes i get hungry during the day and, and i don't want to go outside and at least also have like some type of food and i really want to go get grocery too but uh it's thursday and i'm not going to be here during the weekend so i'm most likely gonna go get groceries or go buy groceries next week when i'm back in my apartment so let's go Woody Kata. so i ordered this sunset lamp on amazon for like 11 bucks during black friday and now i can make skincare content pretending like i am still in sunset hour and golden hour because look look at that glow it's also really good for like um seasonal depression like you know having light source is really helpful so really good stuff and I was not kidding when I meant my room is messy. Look, I'm just gonna show you guys. Ew, not cozy at all. <laughs> guys, this is my favorite coat. Oh, it's so big and it's so warm. Look, I just, I look like a million bucks. Even though I am currently broke. Fashion, okay? Fashion. This is from Theory. Um, this is the most expensive thing I own right now. Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> Unnecessary spending. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so windy today. Oh. I feel like once I was in the sun, it was fine. Anyways, so they didn't have the dim sum that I wanted. They didn't have tasu chung. They didn't have yim sai chung, which is the roast pork and the cilantro. So I ended up just ordering like soy sauce chicken on rice, which is also really good, but is not what I intended to eat at this hour of the day. But it's fine because like I feel like this is brunch. I woke up like later than usual because it's my first day off, and I was like, you know, it's all it's almost lunchtime. I might as well start ordering lunch so i did that and then i went to the local bakery next to it Ugh, this place is so much better i mean not better than the usual one i go to but uh, but this one is just there's more variety i think the price is actually better at this bakery um and the lady was super nice and as i was checking out my food i noticed that they had the steamed pork buns oh my gosh my best friend jess if you're watching this we have to try that one day because it's so good like i know this type of steamed bun is really good i just never tried it from this specific bakery so i'm gonna try that either tomorrow or sometime next week um, but i'm glad that i found out about this place because the variety here it's superior to the other bakeries in this area and i feel like i'm just losing hair over here where did the rest of my hair go This is really good. Some gun, some gun, some gun.
I'm tired. Just cleaning the bathroom and I think I'm gonna take a break and just save the bedroom cleaning for um, next week. I don't know. On my last day of work or the day before my last day of work at my previous job, my coworker Min, shout out to Min, gave me a farewell gift because um, she and I worked so closely like almost every day at work. So I'm just gonna put on some hand cream. This is from Pyongong Yul. This is the Skin Barrier Professional Hand Cream. As I get older, I just feel like my hands and just skin in general, like it cracks so easily and it never happened when I was like in my 20s. Min has been working with me so closely on almost every single thing, which I'm really grateful for because like, it's not easy to, to have coworkers that you enjoy working with. So thank you Min for just giving your support all the time. I hope that I also um, gave you some support as well. Woody Whiting. And I love this bag because that's literally me with every gift I give my dad. I'm like, oh dad, I saw this. I thought of you, but actually, if you don't like it, I can use it. <laughs> she also gave me a card and it says Moon Bay on it because why? We're the Moon Bays. Hey Ray, although it was short, I was happy to have you as my coworker and I am happy that you're taking your time to figure out your next step in life, but whatever you do, I know you'll do well for sure. We'll always be supporting you on your content. Min. P.S. Call me up whenever you want to grab boba together. For sure. Here's the thing, like Min and I have been trying to get boba or like bubble tea for the longest time since my time at the company. But because like both our work schedules are so tight, like we literally put lunch on our calendar, but then meetings come up or like clients want to have a call with us and then we'll just bump our lunch away. Like we just literally dissolve lunch completely. So like a lot of times Min and I don't even have lunch, let alone get boba together. The one time we actually got to enjoy our lunch hour, we went to Paris Baguette and we got like a bunch of um, sweets and pastries and stuff, which was really fun. Um, but we never got to get boba together, which is something we both really wanted to do. We will definitely make time to get boba. Ooh, it's so nicely packaged. Look how nicely she wrapped it. Oh, Min, kamsamida. I don't think I can figure out how to untie this. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Min, I'm so sorry I wasn't able to open this like immediately. We were so busy at work. Wow! Oh! It's so beautiful. Oh my god, it is so pretty. Look at the detail. It's like it's like the stem of a strawberry here. Wow, and it's so, it's like Christmas theme color. Thank you so much, man. I'm I really like this. Dun dun. Mm.
Hi. This is what the sunset light looks like. It's actually kind of dramatic. Mm -hmm. 